Hey, everyone. And Leo, this is going to be your love reading. Let's find out what's going on for Leo in love. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. What messages can we get for Leo about their love life? Whether you're single or you're with someone. Let's see what's going on here. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Wow, I love it. Whenever I see the Queen of Wands, I feel like this is my Leo card for you. And I like that this is um, the center of the reading right now. Yeah. You go for what you want, Leo. Yeah. You can do whatever you want because you have the capacity, the beauty, the power, and the shining armor to achieve it. You are very passionate with um, life in general. And if you are attracted to someone, you are also very, you exude that passion that people are, are more attracted to. So you can't blame yourself if somebody is attracted to you. You can't blame yourself if, so why not, right? You would always say, why not? Of course they should be. <laughs> yeah, so Leo, I see here that um, yeah, love-wise, uh, you're trying to manifest something. It is something that you truly want. So this could be a relationship that you are wanting, um, that you are hopeful for. And deep inside, you may not show this to everybody, but deep inside, you truly want or to get on in this type of connection. You're manifesting it. You're trying your best. Um, you're trying ways and means or means within your capacity, right, to achieve whatever you want in a relationship or in a situation i see that you may not be doing any explicit action right now but you're thinking you're planning you're strategizing you may be keeping low right now you're keeping quiet yeah just so not to create drama at the same time, if you have had some tumultuous encounters in the recent past, you are, I see you trying to move on to a more peaceful state for your mind, for, for your own sanity, basically. You don't want to be involved in too much drama. You don't want to be bothered by the issues of the past, but more on, more of you are moving on. It's not that you are leaving a situation, but you're just moving on to a place where you feel more at peace for your mind and for your heart, which is a really good one. In terms of your actions, you're, you're kind of in a strategic state right now. You're strategizing, you're planning your next move, but you're not really taking action. At some point, you can even think, are you going to take an action or not? You know, that is where you're at right now, I see. You have someone here too who is probably away from you, but this is someone, um, Leo, who may have had some awakening or, you know, they have gotten into some form of realization about, let's see, about what? Yeah. This is someone who may be away from you at a distance and someone who's waiting for new ships to come in for help, for support or just for more excitement yeah, in their life, but in a waiting mode, expecting mode. Yeah? Somebody is kind of expecting something to happen, something good to happen. Oh, okay. So someone here, someone around you has, ah, I love it. Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, someone here has an expectation that, um, in a few weeks, in a few weeks, they would probably hear from you or something great will happen. They're expecting something to happen in a few weeks within this uh, relationship or connection you have. And I feel like this person has gotten some form of realization that they can actually work with you or they can fix the situation with you or they can work together with you. So at some point, you will see that this person is 
you will hear from this person may not be soon but definitely this is someone who's kind of expecting sometime in the next three weeks three months yeah about that time depending on how fast this person moves <laughs> but they're kind of expecting how can they work with you how can they work together with you how can they make you trust them again or how yeah how can they gain your trust how can they see or how can they make you see their value so there is that sense that somebody is preparing hoping expecting that um they can collaborate or work with you or connect with you yeah likely because you are you know um exuding this queen type of energy so basically you act like a queen that means if you you plan you think like a queen right so if you want something you you execute it yeah you or you let someone execute it um and if you see that a relationship a situation or a person is worth your time your effort or worthy of your time you won't hesitate to open up you won't hesitate to provide guidance you won't hesitate to give your heart and soul if need be as long as you know it's worthy of your time yeah so you are a dependable reliable individual that is not common nowadays yeah. and i feel like this person feels that they can rely on you too in the long term all right Let's see, what else do we have here? Let's shuffle more. Leo. It looks like they know that, um, you know, if you're kind of moving on here, so perhaps your communication is not as often as before. And this person can see that you may have actually moved on or you may have actually wrap up a situation with it. you have given yourself some form of closure yeah on the hindsight too this person can see that even if things may have con been concluded for both of you there could be a chance that things can start over again because with the world what comes next is the fool is the new beginning a new cycle once again and that cycle this person can see that possibly you are planning for it possibly you are planning for the next step next move and they know that yeah they kind of assume that you're doing it perhaps you will offer them something or they will come and offer you be more open to you be more emotionally attached to you or something like that so someone here is taking steps yeah, or planning to take that step. Yeah, this is an action that is bound to happen. It's not like maybe or no, but more of it's bound to happen. This is a moving energy of um, a moving energy of openness. Someone is moving forward towards another person to be more open, to be more charming. So either you or them, somebody here will charm the other person so that you know you can gain the trust once again and things like that or to reattract you know that sense of you want to reattract someone so what do you do you want to know what this person loves what this person is expecting and you want to give it to them so that sort of thing yeah but it's not in the terms of manipulative but more of just through charm yeah tapping on to what they feel they can connect with you with so if this person knows that you have um, a soft heart so they would tap into your empathetic side yeah if they know that you are a direct type of person they will tap in and approach you and be more direct and honest towards you because they know that's the only way that they can attach to you or they can relate to you um accordingly yeah so they will see how best they could connect with you and um get back that emotional connection or bring you some form of emotional connection ah it is because it looks like um uh okay let me see what is this 
it looks like something may have happened in this person's life or their connection with you. We have the tower moment here. So there was a tower moment that may have happened or something unexpected or something that you have built together that now it's it has turned to ashes. So there was that situation. Unexpectedly, things may have collapsed or the relationship may have ended. Or for some of you, unexpectedly too, this person right now is making the decision you know to choose to choose to to choose this connection with you you may not even be expecting it especially if things may have already ended um you may feel like yeah there is an undying uh conflict here between the two of you and it will always be like that right you may have thought about this over and over again and you always fight, you always argue, or there is some sort of misalignment in your connection that may have led to some sort of ending, right? And you may have thought about it. You have spent a lot of time, perhaps um, eight months, to think about it, to process things. Why is it happening this way? Why is it happening to me? Or why is it that this person is doing such things to me? Or why are they behaving this way? So you have processed quite a lot in terms of this connection right and it's been a while or you know things may have collapsed or you know you had a split and it looks to me like unexpectedly after a few times when this you haven't heard from this person they were not really doing anything to promote this connection with you in the recent past unexpectedly they are choosing this connection so they are choosing this connection and they want to be able to reciprocate to you, to balance things out, to give you back what they feel you deserve. Yeah, And they will approach you. Now again, we have the Knight of Wands. This person will bring in more or new energy. So they could be, you know, if they have been dull and um, boring to talk to in the past, this person is bringing new energy into the connection. When they approach you, they will um, show you or, or talk about um, new things to do, new things that you can work on, new things that you can um, collaborate on, or new excitement. They would probably invite you for a date or decide to go with you or ask you to go with them and hang out and spend time together could possibly even tap into the physicality you know they would be more physical and show you how attractive they are to you yeah because after some time of hiatus here it looks to me like this person wants to balance out the connection with you all right so let's see the advice here let's see first if we can get some timelines when can you possibly expect this to happen so these are just guidelines. Let's see. When can you just um, when can Leo expect this to happen? Let's get you three. Stand still, September, or it's not too late. All right. So now you know if things have there was an ending, a tower moment, and all that. Things are at a standstill right now, and you might be even thinking. While you're processing things, you might think that, yeah, whatever this person does after today, it's going to be too late. Well, the advice here, it, it's not too late. You know, sometimes you have your own timeline. The other person has their own timeline and the universe has its own divine time. So there is never too late in life. It, it depends on what type of situation we encounter. Situational. Yeah, we encounter on a day-to-day -day basis. And for some of you, there is a concrete date here, a September, concrete month. So you could expect that things will be balanced out or start to balance out by the month of September. All right. Advice for Leo. Let's get you some advice, Leo. The wheel. I love it. Your luck is about to change. There's unseen forces working for you, which will change the path of your life. Yeah, so this is an advice saying that the only, one of the constant thing in this world is change. So instead of resisting it, go with it. 
Yeah, go with it because it could change the path of their life and it could be something that you may not even be dreaming about, but it's something that you will be happy. Yeah, happy about. Your luck is about to change. And um, look at your life with a deeper, more spiritual understanding to help you get your priorities straight. So this is an energy of um, advising you to be more connected to your higher self. What is good for you? Prioritize yourself first, yeah? Be more, for some of you who are already spiritual, I believe you are already on that path. Um, but more so the easier way to, or not easier, but one way that you can get through this path is, you know, prioritizing yourself. And that means checking your checking in with yourself how do you feel for the day even journaling would help how do you feel for that day how do you feel when you interact with certain people or with this person that you're you're thinking about and how does that make you a better person that situation that relationship how does that relationship make you a better person i think that's one way of you know you are very passionate with um, life in general. And if you are attracted to someone, you are also very, you exude that passion that people are, are more attracted to. So you can't blame yourself if somebody is attracted to you. You can't blame yourself if, so why not, right? You would always say, why not? Of course they should be. <laughs> yeah, so Leo, I see here that... Um, Love-wise, uh, you're trying to manifest something. It is something that you truly want. So this could be a relationship that you are wanting, um, that you are hopeful for. And deep inside, you may not show this to everybody, but deep inside, you truly want or to get on in this type of connection. You're manifesting it. You're trying your best. Um, you're trying ways and means or means within your capacity right to achieve whatever you want in a relationship or in a situation i see that you may not be doing any explicit action right now but you're thinking you're planning you're strategizing you may be keeping low right now you're keeping quiet yeah just so not to create drama at the same time, if you have had some tumultuous encounters in the recent past, you are, I see you l trying to move on to a more peaceful state for your mind, for, for your own sanity, basically. You don't want to be involved in too much drama. You don't want to be bothered by the issues of the past. But more on, more of, you are moving on. It's not that you are leaving a situation, but you're just moving on to a place where you feel more at peace for your mind and for your heart, which is a really good one. In terms of your actions, you're, you're kind of in a strategic state right now. You're strategizing, you're planning your next move, but you're not really taking action. At some point, you can even think, are you going to take an action or not? You know, that is where you're at right now, I see. You have someone here too who is probably away from you, but this is someone, um, Leo, who may have had some awakening or, you know, they have gotten into some form of realization about, let's see, about what? Yeah. This is someone who may be away from you at a distance and someone who's waiting for new ships to come in for help, for support or just for more excitement yeah, in their life but in a waiting mode expecting mode yeah, somebody is kind of expecting something to happen something good to happen oh okay so someone here someone around you has ah i love it queen of pentacles at the bottom of the deck um someone here has an expectation that um in a few weeks, in a few weeks, they would probably hear from you. 
or something great will happen. They're expecting something to happen in a few weeks within this uh, relationship or connection you have. And I feel like this person has gotten some form of realization that they can actually work with you or they can fix the situation with you or they can work together with you. So at some point, you will see that this person is, you will hear from this person, may not be soon, but definitely this is someone who's kind of expecting sometime in the next three weeks, three months, yeah, about that time, depending on how fast this person moves. <laughs> but they're kind of expecting, how can they work with you? How can they work together with you? How can they make you trust them again? Or how, yeah, how can they gain your trust? How can they see or how can they make you see their value? So there is that sense that somebody is preparing, hoping, expecting that um, they can collaborate or work with you or connect with you. Yeah. Likely because you are you know, um, exuding this queen type of energy. So basically, you act like a queen. That means if you, you plan, you think like a queen, right? So if you want something, you, you execute it, yeah, you, or you let someone execute it. Um, and if you see that a relationship, a situation, or a person is worth your time, your effort, or worthy of your time, you won't hesitate to open up you won't hesitate to provide guidance you won't hesitate to give your heart and soul if need be as long as you know it's worthy of your time yeah so you are a dependable reliable individual that is not common nowadays yeah. and i feel like this person feels that they can rely on you too in the long term all right Let's see, what else do we have here? Let's shuffle more. Leo. It looks like they know that, um, you know, if you're kind of moving on here, so perhaps your communication is not as often as before. And this person can see that you may have actually moved on or you may have actually wrap up a situation with it. You have given yourself some form of closure. Yeah. On the hindsight too, this person can see that even if things may have con been concluded for both of you, there could be a chance that things can start over again. Because with the world, what comes next is the fool, is the new beginning, a new cycle once again. And that cycle this person can see that possibly you are planning for it. Possibly you are planning for the next step, next move. And they know that, yeah, they kind of assume that you're doing it. Perhaps you will offer them something or they will come and offer you, be more open to you, be more emotionally attached to you or something like that. So someone here is taking steps. Yeah, or planning to take that step. Yeah, this is an action that is bound to happen. It's not like maybe or no, but more of it's bound to happen. This is a moving energy of um, a moving energy of openness. Someone is moving forward towards another person to be more open, to be more charming. So either you or them, somebody here will charm the other person so that you know you can gain the trust once again 